Hey guys, welcome to my early morning uh, mechanics talk. Uh, it's like 6.30, so I have 30 minutes before I clock in, so I just wanted to share, talk about piston failures today and engine failures and how you can use your pistons to determine cause of engine failure. So, to start out with, I'm going to show you a healthy piston. This is out of my Cummins from when I rebuilt it. Um, it's obviously, like you can see, it's, it's got a lot of miles on it, you can tell, but notice how the bowl is perfect. There's no indentation of valves on here. Uh, the combustion chamber looks great. It's got a little heat, uh, scorched oil heat right there, but all the rings are intact. This is your combustion ring. And um, these both of these are your combustion rings and this is your oil ring, this bottom one. Uh, they are not broken. They look good. They're a little stretched out but or worn, but that's okay. Um, the wrist pin in here moves freely. Doesn't have any, it's not catching, it's not frozen. It doesn't have a lot of play in it. This is what a relatively healthy engine should look like. Now, this is out of a 6090 I rebuilt in an 8310R a couple years ago. Uh, as you can see, it's got some caking on the piston. This particular engine was burning coolant. Uh, that's what that could be from. It also could be from overfueling, but that's not something you really want to see. That means something isn't burning right in your cylinder. Uh, the combustion chamber looks okay on this, but as you can see, it only has two rings. Uh, this came out of the cylinder that had a broken compression ring, upper compression ring, and had a giant score down the cylinder wall. Uh, because it was burning coolant, it actually had a bad O-ring in one of the liners. Um, the cylinder wall is washed out. There was no hash marks left in the liner, but it also had broken a ring. This is common on 6090s, uh, especially the tractor engines, um, but there's a lot of 6090s. This ring, breaking the compression ring is pretty common. Uh, most of the time you'll never know. Uh, usually you won't know this has happened until you have another engine failure. At least that's from what I've seen on these 6090s until it gets so bad that it's completely destroyed your cylinder wall. The next piston I'm going to show you is out of a uh, international truck. I was I did not rebuild this, but I was a part of helping when I first started in the field. Uh, there's so much going wrong with this particular one. Um, all the rings are here, but as you can see, it's got a lot of scorching on the skirt. Uh, that's not good. That is oil kind of burnt into the wall, and there are actually scores that you can catch with your fingernail. Uh, that means there's probably metal in here going in between this skirt and the piston wall. Not good. Um, that is terrible. This is an impression from a valve. Now some engines have machined things like this. Um, some don't, but if you see this and it's only on one cylinder, that could be mean that you had kissed valves. Usually you'll see it on both sides if it's actually oversped or kissing valves that's what it looks like uh, this combustion chamber is not in good shape as you can see this is eaten away uh, that can be caused by multiple things um, for those of you that like to just run a bad injector on your truck and let it misfire and not fix it that's what it's doing to your cylinder it is water jetting or it can act like a water jet and erode away at your piston if it's not actually atomizing correctly. As you can see, it looks like this one has dropped a valve and there are pieces that are going through it or have been had gone through this cylinder. This is bad. This is probably means you'll need a head because your head probably looks like this. And your cylinder walls are probably trashed. Uh, luckily, on heavy duty, that's a liner, so just throw a new liner in it. But that is my talk today about pistons and how to try and determine failures.